Welcome to our Piping Tutorial YouTube channel. In this video, we'll be showing you how to calculate pipe section's length and center to end dimension of the 35 degree elbow in the piping 3D model drawing. Also, I will put some PDF drawings for pipe isometric drawings in the description section of the video, you can enter and look at those drawings. Please subscribe to our channel to watch more like video. This video provides excellent practical information for pipe fitters, please watch till the end video. Let's starting piping training video we have prepared for you. Sometimes it is required to calculate the lengths of the pipe section in the pipelines. We try to explain with examples in this video, how to calculate the length of the pipe piece and center to end dimension of the cut elbows in the pipelines. As you see this is a 3 inch pipeline. We will calculate the length of the red color 3 inch pipe piece used in the fabricate of this pipeline. As you see, the pipeline comes horizontally, then goes up at a 35 degree angle and continues horizontally again at height of 300 millimeters. To find the length of the red pipe piece, we first need to calculate the distance between the centers of the pipe elbows, then we can find the length of the red color pipe by subtracting the lengths of these two elbows and two gaps for welding from the total length. In pipe isometrics, length measurements are calculated from imaginary lines passing through the center of the pipes. This thin line you see is the imaginary line passing through the center of our 3D pipeline and we will calculate the measurements from this imaginary line. When the pipeline rises at a 35 degree angle, it forms perpendicular lines with pass through the centers of the elbows. If we combine these lines a right angle triangle will be created. The hypotenuse of this right angle triangle is the distance between the elbows in the pipeline. Let's mark the hypotenuse of this right angle triangle with the letter big H. In this situation the hypotenuse of this right angle triangle will be H and the catheter opposite the 35 degree angle will be 300 millimeters. In these cases, we will use the trigonometric function to calculate the hypotenuse of a right triangle. The trigonometric function rule is for finding the lengths of two sides when one side is given. The shorter side is opposite the 35 degree angle and the hypotenuse is opposite the 90 degree angle. We can find the hypotenuse by using the trigonometric function. The sine is trigonometric functions of an angle. The sine is the ratio of the length of the side that is opposite that angle to the hypotenuse of the triangle. In other words, sine 35 degrees is equal to the ratio of 300 millimeters to the hypotenuse h. We will use multifunctional calculator to find the sine 35 degree. Sin 35 degree approximately equal is 0 0.573576. Also, as per above formula sine 35 degree equal to the ratio of 300 millimeters to the hypotenuse h, it is also equal is 0 0.573576. Continue to calculation, the h hypotenuse equal is 300 millimeters divided 0 0.573576. At last, we found the h hypotenuse equal is approximately 523 millimeters. As we knew, the length of the H hypotenuse is also the distance between the centers of the butt weld elbows. In this case, the overall length between the centers of the butt weld elbows is 523 mm. If we subtract the lengths of the elbows and the gaps for welding from this total length, we can find the length of the red pipe section. <laughs> 